question is Li Yao uh, from uh, from from Intel. Please uh, uh, please please come up, um, and uh, she's going to be uh, uh, speaking about uh, ut utilizing uh, DPDK virtual devices in OVS. I'm I'm sorry. Are you uh, are you Li or Oh, okay. My my apologies. Uh, uh, Yinan. Hello, everyone. I'm Yinan from Intel. My topic is utilizing DBDK virtual device in OVS. Now, there are more than 10 types of virtual device in DBDK. Today, we will focus on two categories which has potential usage in OVS DBDK. The first category includes uh, type QNI and the virtual user, which can be used as exceptional path by redirecting user space packets to kernel interface. The another category of virtual device includes PCAP, F packet, and FSDP. These three virtual devices provide a solution to receive packets from kernel NIC to user space without polymod driver. This page introduces the potential usage of three virtual devices. Uh, uh, OVS can support VM network through VHOS user, but it's hard to deal with container based, kernel based container network. Type KNI and the virtual user can use as exceptional path and provide a solution for container network. In this picture, OS DPDK receives packets from NIC and uh, redirect packets to VM through VHOS user and VirtualNet. Also can redirect packets to container kernel interface through these three virtual devices. This page introduces the performance comparison between type KNI and the virtual user. We use iProf to check performance between two software kernel interface which generated by virtual device on same host. Since virtual user with VHOS NET and the type device can support IS MATIQ and ISS, uh, their performance can partially scale with queues and calls. Since KI not support multi-Q, so only one queue performance in this diagram. But for the overall performance, we think Virtual user has better performance. There are some PKMs on supporting these three virtual devices in OS DBDK. For type, normally OS DBDK needs to calculate TSQ number according to the total post number. But type device require TSQ number same as ISQ number, so we need to care about it. For KNI, if launch OS DBDK with KNI, the M2 of KNI is 2034 by default, but it's not correct since the M2 of other ports in OS DPDK is 100 and 1500. So we need to reconfig the M2 for KNI interface to 1500 in kernel set for better usage. For the virtual user, one gigabyte huge page, two megabytes huge page, and 4K page are both supported. Only we need to notice is to add a specific EL parameters for OVS DPDK initialization when using two megabytes huge page and 4K page. The second category of virtual device includes PCAP, F packet, and FSDP. Originally, OVS DPDK received packets from NIC with polymode driver to user space. PCAP, F packet, and AFSDP can be used as a VDV ports in OS DPDK and receive packets from kernel NIC to user space without polymode driver. This page shows the performance comparison between these three virtual, de virtual devices with file loopback test scenario. PCAP and F packet has been assisted in DPDK for a long time, and F FSDP is recently implemented in this year. It's obviously the, F, the performance of FSDP is better than PCAP and F packet. 
Also, DBDK implements AFSDP from 19.5 to 19.11 and gains 6.2% and 18% performance improvement between each two releases. And there are two tips for using AFSDP in OS DBDK. The first is AFSDP has dependency on kernel version. We recommend to use latest kernel version 5.4, which includes some bug fix. The another tip is if you use AFSDP as VDE port in OS, we need specified FS name and the Q range in device parameters like the command list here. That's all of my Latin talk. Thank you. All right, uh, we have time for a question. If any